today we're going to make some really creepy sugar cookies. The first thing we're going to do is mix together the dry ingredients. I have two cups whole wheat pastry flour, then we'll do half a teaspoon baking powder, a quarter teaspoon salt, whisk that all together. We'll set that aside, then we'll mix together one stick of unsalted butter. Just cut it into some chunks. It needs to be pretty soft though. And then three quarters cup sugar. Now we'll cream together the butter and the sugar. Okay. And then we'll add one egg. Just put it right in there. And half a teaspoon vanilla. Mix this in again. Once that's well combined, add the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna sprinkle it in a little bit as I do this on a low speed. Oh yeah, it's spinning now. Okay, so now all we have to do is separate the dough into two separate discs. I'm using wax paper, but you can use plastic wrap or parchment paper. And now we'll pop these in the fridge for about an hour so that they chill. It's time to make the cookies. Go ahead and unwrap, add a little flour to your board. We're gonna roll out the dough till it's about a quarter inch thick. And then using a round cutter to give you enough space for spider webs. I love that during Halloween, it gives everyone a perfectly good excuse to be just a little bit creepy, which is my forte. Now you'll pop these in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're golden brown. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside and let them cool while I make the icings. We'll start by melting half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Keep the heat super, super low. So it's all melted, everything's smooth. Put it directly into the little baggie. We'll use it as a little piping bag. I'm gonna let this just hang out and cool off. And now we'll make the white icing. We'll start with two cups powdered sugar, and we need just a tiny bit of milk, two tablespoons plus two teaspoons. I'm gonna do one tablespoon and one teaspoon corn syrup. And now we'll add a little bit of vanilla, half a teaspoon. Whisk this together. You want this to be nice and smooth too. And you'll set this up with a little baggie as well. Okay, it is time to ice the cookies. We'll start with the sugar icing. Cut a little hole in the very tip of the bag. And then you'll pipe around, leaving a little border. And then a little bit in the center. And then just use a little offset spatula like this to spread the icing around. Now, for the spider part. This hole you'll wanna cut even tinier. And we'll start by making a spiral on the cookie. Starting in the center and just swirl out. Grab a toothpick and a paper towel. Start at the very center of your swirl and drag the toothpick out toward the edge. Wipe it off, center, Drag. That's looking good, very creepy. Now let these cookies hang out for a little bit so the icing can set, and then these spooky treats will be ready to party. Spiderweb sugar cookies. <laughs>